We've been saying for years um, just how much our phones have become just mini PCs. And the term PC, personal computer, it's been around for years. It just usually meant like the computer in your home. It's not at the office. It's not at your job. It's your personal computer. And I came from a time plenty to where everybody didn't have computers in their home at the start. They were just becoming more popular as well, in reality, how are you this to become the PC? This is everyone's personal computer device. We just don't typically think of it that way. So if you didn't know what it's about, I'm sure you read the title and looked at the thumbnail. Google is, I can't say officially because we already knew officially that this was happening, but I guess more credence to the fact that we get somewhat of a timeline that Google is going for with their Android and PC. Again, I don't know what they're going to call it. So we just say Android on PC. What we know is they are merging Android and Chrome OS. So basically in this new platform, it would be the experience of Chrome OS, but with the foundations rooted in Android and how that would be better in this new platform is that this will have much more developers as there already are developers for Android. So you would essentially be just developing the same app as Google's already pushed that in their Android 16 keynote a few months back. They're cracking down. So there's no more just mobile apps. Qualcomm had their event and I spaced it on his name, but there was a representative from Google there and they were having a conversation and the subject of Android on PCs came up and the representative for Qualcomm said he's seen it and it is great. And obviously this is just publicity, but what we now know is that Qualcomm is going to be involved in probably powering this new device. I think there's going to be other partners involved. My guess is Samsung is going to be involved in there somewhere. And what I believe is one of Google's goals in making this new operating system is going to be AI. AI has been shoving down our throats for a few years now, and Google's not going to let up. So this new device is going to be built around AI, or AI is going to be basically at its core. It's not going to be an accessory. It's going to be like a main component to the device or to the experience. That's what I think they're going for. I like it or love it, but they may as well call the new laptop Gemini. Wait, could they actually do that? I always say Android book sounds terrible. When I think Pixelbook, I think made by Google, so they might. But if it's a generic thing where everybody will be making Android laptops, because calling Android laptop is just not. It might grow on me, but that's not what it looks like. But if you call this thing Gemini, they might. Gemini Pro, Gemini Book. I don't know. Sometimes I'm excited. Sometimes I'm kind of worried. All of which is just because I need Google to stick to the landing. And a lot of us have a hard time believing that you can represent a good desktop environment. What I think is going to happen is that Google has said that they're going to have, they committed to supporting these Chromebooks. And I believe a lot of these Chromebooks have a 10 year support. So are they just going to be e-waste after that? I know that these things are going to be out in the wild at the same time. There's going to be the Chromebook and there's going to be the Android laptop, or maybe they'll keep the name Chromebook. They're going to be out at the same time and one of them is going to die. Most likely the Chromebook is the one that's going to go by the wayside, but it's also going to be how well people adopt to this new operating system, especially businesses. Because a lot of Chromebook sales come from businesses, namely enterprise and schools and libraries. If they can't make the switch, then this might die. Google might want to push it, but that's going to be on them if they succeed or fail. If they do it right, then this will be a great product all around. As I've been being educated that Chrome West, as much as I like it, of course, we know that in the beginning, it was just a browser. And it's an operating system that was just based upon the browser. That has become much more than that now, but it might have problems because it wasn't designed for that initially. Whereas 
Android, this new operating system could be maybe more Linux based because I looked into it and see how they created Android and basically at its base core, Android is Linux. It was made for a full desktop environment and Android, especially back in those days, had very limited power, very limited memory, and it had to be severely altered in order to make it into the operating system we have today. But just like all computing, the Android platform has grown exponentially. Like it has gotten so much more powerful and so much more versatile, more than probably the early creators could have even imagined. And so there's no need for it to be held back as much. So what they could do in this operating system is basically just release the constraints that Android has had to put on, but doesn't have to do that for modern times. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. It's going to be all up to developers how well they stick this landing. If they succeed, then I think we are entering into a real personal computing. Are you kind of hesitant? Like, may sound like a good idea, but Google won't stick the landing. Or is it just another platform that you don't trust because it's made by Google? One more for the graveyard. All right, so that's going to do it for today. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe for more. Like the video, it really does help. I'll see you next time. God bless.